Today I'm gonna be training like Caitlin Clark. Caitlin Clark is a Steph Curry of the WNBA, shooting from the logo in every single gym. She's a top rookie right now in the WNBA and a strong competitor. She can score in every way, not just a three. She's an all around hooper, seeing the floor and scoring at will. When I saw her workout on YouTube, I knew I needed to get in the gym and try it. We got 100 threes, 100 free throws, and 100 mid range to complete. So let's get started. I made the first free throw of the video. We're starting off good. Moving on to threes, I would have made 10 for 10, but Mel kept making me laugh. And starting off this workout, I felt like I was doing so good, being focused and locked in, but that changed fairly quickly here. I just hit one for 10. 
That's horrible. And this is where I lose control of my emotions. This rarely happens to me, especially on video, but I just wanted to showcase that you're not always at your best and that I'm human just like everyone else and I get in my feelings and that I have feelings. I tried hard letting it go, but it kind of affected the rest of my workout. Somehow, I still got good numbers though, and I just encourage you to actually let go. I'm learning a lesson from this, and I hope you do too. Seven seven six is not bad. I'm just getting frustrated. Oh my God. <laughs> I just ha hold myself at a high standard, so I haven't hit ten in a row yet on anything. And it's just I had that one where I did one for it. 10 and I'm just stuck on it. I just gotta let it go. For the free throws, I got 72 out of 100. Mid-range, I got 65 out of 100. And three-pointers, I got 63 out of 100. I don't think those are horrible numbers, but I definitely expect it to do better. You made 233 out of 300. This is kind of your routine. Yeah. How do you feel about 233? Two, I think it's a good number. Threes were a little bit, no, nah, I wouldn't say lower. I'll still take 63, but I want to be more so around 70 if I can. Yeah. Uh, 81 mid range is really, really good. Um, usually around 75 there. And anytime I can get to around 90 out of 100 free throws, I like that number. <laughs> I want to be above 90, but sometimes I'm not. But if I can be at 90, that's what I like to be at. So I'll take that number. So um, I don't know. I just put a lot of pressure on myself to be great and sometimes it gets to me a little bit and today was just one of those days. I guess I wasn't completely locked in today. Um, I just get in my own way so that's something I have to work on within myself. I start doubting myself as I'm doing well. It's like weird to me but like I'm doing good at something and then I just like 
is this good enough? I need to get 10 out of 10. Oh, I missed. And now I'm just thinking about all these negative things when I was just thinking positive things about like, okay, let's get it. Let's knock these out. Let's get these done. And then all of a sudden my mind shifts to you just missed. Oh, you missed another one. Oh, you're trying to get 10 out of 10 and you, you keep getting 7 out of 10 or 8 out of 10. You're not good enough. And I just start doubting myself a lot. And so um, I feel like that's a battle I'm going to have to continue to grow from. But if you've made it this far, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching the video. As always, I love you, fam. Peace. Hello. You see me in